I believe you are also a Ron Paul supporter. You want to stand up for me so everybody can take a real good look at you and they can say, oh yeah, there's that guy that wants Ron Paul. No, it's good to have you here. Explain to uh, us why you would not vote for Mr. Gingrich. Well, uh, this is history of uh, his past history and what he did in the uh, in Congress. It's more to me. It's he's a crony capitalist, so I can't really vote for someone like that. That's who would you vote for? Um, well, that's a good question. I'd I'd have to see who the Libertarian candidate would be. But uh, personally, uh, if I had to, if it was between Obama and Gingrich, I I don't know if I it'd be I can't vote for either one of them. So. Ladies in the crowd. Wow. Marianne Gingrich came out in South Carolina. Marianne Gingrich came out and made the statement that she was going to wreck the Gingrich campaign. In fact, she did just the opposite. He surged after that. Was there anyone, were there any ladies? Interestingly, in the early polls, Gingrich shot up, particularly amongst women. Was there a woman who was bothered by Marianne Gingrich's uh, statements that would like to speak about that? Was there a woman who was bothered by the fact that his ex-wife of 14 years ago or so spoke out. I'm going to go over to Kim. Um, she was going to talk even if she didn't want to. Would you stand up, please? Because uh, I had asked a question earlier, and I'll get to that question in just a bit. But uh, explain to us why that bothered you. I didn't think it was anyone's business. And I think it happened so long ago that I think her coming out was, was already pre-planned. It was a strategy. And I think it was dirty politics, dirty media. And I think it was no one's business, and it was pathetic. How many people, thank you, Kim, thank you very much. How many people think that if someone had a divorce, even in the case of Speaker Gingrich, who obviously was having a relationship while he was still married, is this, in your opinion, in the past? Can you put it away, compartmentalize that, and still see him as a candidate that could be a viable president of the United States? How many people think that we should just put all of that away and not pay any attention to it? By your hands, please. That is not everybody. How many of you think this is very, very important, and because of what happened in his personal life, this reflects on his character and his ability to govern the land? Interesting. All right. Kenny, you want to tell me why? You know, I, I'm, I'm younger. I'm only 29. Uh, when I think about uh, my marriage relationship, uh, I know that there are hard times, but you can't let something break you up. You can't let somebody else come in and destroy that. And when you're working in government, that's all you do is have other people poking and prodding at you to get you to try to change your mind and go a different direction. So how can you, I can see like when you're 20 years old and you make some crazy decisions because you're still, your mind's going all different directions. But when you're older in your years and you've gotten more wisdom and and you've been able to see the pain that comes out of divorce and everything, and you still take that direction. I just feel like you're, you're, you're basically showing the world that you just don't have the gumption to make it happen. Thanks, Kitty. Does Barack Obama go up in your esteem? He's been married to the same woman and raised those children. Uh, it's, it's just a totally different issue. Uh, he's, he's got the same wife and, the sa and he's got his kids, but I... I see him in a, whole, a totally different light. He's not on the conservative side. He uh, wants social uh, reform. He wants to enable uh, so, social welfare programs, <clears throat> you know, uh, single-payer systems, things like that, and I don't agree with it. One of the things we saw out of South Carolina was a number of people, Matt, who said, I don't care, thank you, Kenny, uh, who said, I don't care uh, what Newt Gingrich did with his personal life. His policies are pro-family. Does anybody have that opinion? Mark, let me go to you. Yeah, I, I think Newt has probably spent more time than anybody else looking at the problems of this country, and I think he's probably got the best overall plan. Personal life is personal life, and unfortunately it's baggage we have to carry around with us sometimes, but um, it's just it's like an axelrod submarining Herb Cain. I mean, there was, it, it is the politics of today. Gina would also like to weigh in on this. She had her hand up, and she was like, oh, i got to talk. So, Gina, it's great to have you here. Go ahead. Thank you. I think Newt Gingrich, has, those who don't learn from the past are condemned to repeat it, and I think he's learned from our country's history and his own personal history, and I think he's a better person because of it and is, is, has the capacity and the experience and the knowledge to lead our country, and that's what we need is leadership, and we don't have it. Do you think that Barack Obama has learned from his mistakes? and will not repeat them? 
he doesn't make mistakes. Haven't, didn't you get the memo? I, 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 you're absolutely right. I think I just read that before I came in. Thank you, Gina. I appreciate that. A nice round of applause, please, for everybody. Believe it or not, we are almost done with our first segment, and so what we want to do is just kind of remind everybody, KTRH.com, be sure to tune in, be sure to go to the web, and Sam Jordan is here, and Sam, uh, what are people seeing? Are you getting some emails or some questions coming in that Michael and I can ask? Yes, well, actually, I posted a um, question on Facebook about who people think is getting the worst stuff in the media, who's getting destroyed the most, and everybody is saying Ron Paul. Ron Paul is getting it the worst. And somebody said Gingrich and Santorum deserves all the crap he gets because he's on crack. Right. Ah. We will talk about Ron Paul, <laughs> Rick Santorum, Newt Gingrich, and Mitt Romney coming up. And in just a minute, we're going to come back, and I want to know if you believe religion is important in your president. I also want to know how many of you could not vote for Mitt Romney because he is a Mormon. I want you to think about that. We'll come back and we'll grab some of your answers in just a moment. You are listening right now to a historic town hall on News Radio 740 KTRH. Don't go away.